Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm down at the caravan because last time we were away I found out we got a problem. We've got a very loose tap. So uh, I have been trying to read on some uh, social media and that how you actually fit it. Some say you have to take fridge out. Uh, so I'm going to have a good look round and see if there's a quick way I can get to this uh, tap and tighten it up. So if you want to know how to do it on an Eldis 550 caravan with a similar type uh, sink and tap, carry on and watch this video and we'll hopefully show you how to do it. Right, so here we are. We've got the sink, the work unit and the loose tap so that'll only work its way looser if uh, if I carry on moving like you see it's wobbling around so I've read online that there's some kind of nut underneath that you need to tighten up but I'm going to try and find how to access the underneath of this tap I've read online that you need some people say you need to take sink out some say you need to take fridge out so I'm going to have a good look round. We'll have a look in this little drawer above fridge first. So if I take this uh, drawer out, we'll see what's in here. There should be access through there to the bottom of the sink, shouldn't there? Fit tap. He says with great faith. Just put that down carefully. Nope. Nothing there at all. So it's just a box boxed off. So the actual tap is inside there behind that panel and I bet you can't reach if you went in there you won't be able to get because the sink will be in the way to the tap so we'll have another look round we'll have a look outside so there may be access through this uh, cover on the fridge I'll have a look I'll take it off and have a look so we'll take this cover off I've just had to put camera down because this little uh, clip is a bit tight. So we'll pull this off now, we've got the clip up. A bit tight. Oh, there's no access there. It's all sealed. Right, back inside. Right, so that's that cover back on and that clip pushed down, so it's uh, firm again. So we'll have a look inside. Right, so we can't get to it outside. So now we need to have a look in these drawers and cupboards. We'll have to take these drawers out. So I'll get back to you once I've taken drawers out. Right, so that's the drawers out. Let's have a look whether you can see anything. I'll need my torch now. Right, I can see where that back cover is that we looked on outside. You've got your drain there for your wastewater and there's your taps at the back so I think I might be able to get my hand up the back there I'll not be able to film it but uh, hopefully I can get my hand up there let's see whether I'm successful or not so what I've bought is some tap box spanners so you've got four different sizes one on each end at uh, box banner and a little tow candle as well so that's what I've bought to tighten it up with I've just taken the uh, drain off so that's the drain pipe off there so that just pushes into uh, there actually so it's uh, just friction held and I'm not sure whether I'll be able to get to it or not <laughs> I'm hoping we can. I don't want to be taking this fridge out. Definitely not. Right, we'll have a go. You can see how tight it is. I 
can't believe it, box banners turning up, but try that other side. That's too small. I'm going to have to modify that end a bit. I'll go and get my hammer. Just squash it in a bit. Must be 10 mil, not uh, 11 mil. Let me try again. Yeah, if I'm not careful, I'm going to round the uh, nut off. So I'll go and uh, modify this a little bit with my hammer. I'll be back in a bit. Right, so I've just hammered that a little bit just to make it a little bit smaller. Let me try that now. I'll try not to swear. The arm's only just long enough and I'll... I think I'm doing it. tighter now. Let's have a look at tap. Oh. Certainly scrape your hand. <laughs> oh that's a lot firmer that now. Yeah I'm happy with that. Right so like you say I did have to hammer that in a little bit. It was still a bit slack but it's tightened it up enough. So uh, that size was about the size of the nut on the thread. Like you say, that were a bit too big. So it's, I don't know, must be, uh, it were just just gripping, but as soon as you put some force on it, it turned, so it'll round, it'll round nut off. So I hammered it down enough just to tighten it up. Hopefully that's cured that problem. So thumbs up from me. So as you can see, if you can see, because I can't see, it is a very tight space and you catch your uh, arm on that uh, thread there, <laughs> but I managed it. Right, so I've just got to put the uh, waste pipe back on, which I'll try and do with some light in there, hopefully you can see, probably not. Now I'll not be able to do it at the same time as filming, so I'll show you when it's done. Right, so that uh, waste pipe just physically pushes into there. So that's it, all complete. So that's uh, that little job done. In two years that's the only issue we've had, so as far as I'm concerned we've uh, got a good caravan here. But uh, it's easy enough to do. And hopefully you'll find that uh, useful because like you say I read on social media that you had to take your fridge out take your sink out etc but uh, I managed to do it without it so if you found that useful don't forget to give me that thumbs up and if you're not subscribed there's not many hints and tips now on this channel because I don't have many things to do on caravan but uh, if you do like it and there's plenty of variation of videos on this channel so if you do subscribe and also if you do subscribe click that notification bell it'll tell you when we've uploaded some new videos it might not be caravanning it might be holidays abroad it might be days out but who knows so we'll see you in the next video bye for now